Hello Capricorn, welcome on my channel Triple Two Tarot. I'm gonna do your April 2024 monthly tarot reading and prediction. What's happening? What's coming? It's going to be a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. You can book a personal reading. Everything is given in the description. Reach out to me if you want to. Follow me on Instagram. Link is given in the description. Let's go, Capricorn. What's happening? No, that's a lot. Sorry. But you could be dealing with Taurus or Cancer, or Pisces, Scorpio, Page of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, here you go, Leo, Nine of Pentacles, interesting. Eight of Cups. Six of Wands, interesting. You could be seeing six nine angel number or nine six or eight eight eight. It's definitely destiny. Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Okay, man. Let me see. What is that? Eight of Cups, please. What? Emperor and Six of Pentacles. So daddy's here. Daddy want to come home. You could be dealing with Aries. Okay. Uh, definitely Aries, Sagittarius. Could be even Leo. Very strong Leo placements with the Aries and Sagittarius also here. Could be dealing with another earth sign. Especially Taurus I'm picking up. Um, and water sign could be Scorpio or Pisces. And air sign could be Aquarius a Libra. Listen. Capricorn, you have eyes on someone, you like someone, okay? But you're not, you're confused about it because obviously with the Seven of Cups, you either you have a lot of options and you're really overwhelmed right now and you don't want to think about it because there's a lot of things going on on your plate. Now, this could be um, maybe uh, like you have a desire to be with this person. This is like a temptation for you because I'm almost feeling like a snake. This person could even born into a snake here or you. We also have a dog, horse here, dog here. Um, could be even tiger here. There's a lot of animals here. This person could be animal lover. Or they are um, finding you like you're an animal lover. Uh, something about taming the beast here. Look at the lion. It's like this is someone... Um, they think that you can, you can tame them. There's something about your energy. Or vice versa if you're a cross watcher. There's something about you because of this divine feminine here it's a strength like you're very powerful you're very strong in this person's eyes you you know it or not they think you're very fine you're very very grounded you're very stable you're very persistent there's something about your energy it's like you know feel like a fantasy or dreaming but it's, it's like it's really practical it's true it's not just like someone is like dreaming about you no and this person this masculine is really have the eyes on you okay and they're really interested in you and there's something about your energy here that this person is wanting to step up, wanting to show you like they're the emperor. They are capable of like being your partner, being a provider. They want to create a family. They want to think about a family. They want to even think about marriage and commitment. I think you're a single with a nine of pentacles here. Now, some of you, this person is also single or they could be even in a relationship. Now, that's the interesting thing. I don't think so. This person is... is uh, now, this person could be committed to their work. Like, they, they, they find their work is, like, very com commitment. Like, it's a commitment for them. So, they're very committed to their work. This person is, looks like a bachelor, could be older than you, or the same age as a little bit difference between you and this person. But I think most of you, it's a huge difference because I'm seeing emperor and page. So, you are this page. You are still in the process of working, making your dreams come true. Your hard, your hard work is definitely going to pay off. This person is lucky. They are way more successful than you. Like, let's say six to eight or ten step ahead from you. So they're already successful. They're on the top. They're on the game. People definitely know them. And you are maybe still getting it. You're still getting some type of opportunities. You're making it happen for yourself. You're going to a hard work or something. I also feel this person's money come from or success coming from their family. They could be coming from a very rich and wealthy background. So especially from their ancestors, father, generational money or old money. 
type of energy I'm picking up. Or this is someone who make their money for themselves. Like they really could be. If they're older, obviously it's been their efforts. It's been like like let's say ten years, twelve years, six years. It's like um, twenty years. I don't know how much this person worked. Um, depending on their age, you're dealing with. Um, they really make this money. Okay, they are really successful. People know them. Especially in their community, this people, this person is well known. They could be even well known person as like a business, or or someone who could be in very lucky to get the grab, the opportunity to attention. Like I don't think so. This person has any problem for work. Like they just always have. It's like it's like this person is doing a project and the other projects are waiting. So this person is gonna choose what do they wanna do. This is that type of a person. It's a very successful person. I think they could be even multitasking. This person has a multiple source of income, business work they could be even a boss i'm picking up this is a boss with the with the emperor and six of pentacles and eight of cups this person is a boss they're a leader they lead by uh, they led by example so definitely a lot of people are working with this person they're a boss but they're very friendly it's like they really when they worked they worked very hard they really put their emotion aside and they worked with the money um this person could be carrying some type of a family business also whoever this is they have a lot of responsibilities, by the way. Or this person is, is this is that type of a person coming into your life, by the way. Like a, some, some type of old school, traditional type of a person, provider. Someone who's going to give you the family. Um, someone who's going to bring the abundance and uh, success and uh, fortune in your life. You're also going to feel blessed and lucky to be with this person, the part of this person's family, or to be the part of this person family. Being with this person, maybe, also. It's going to be a pleasure for you also dating this person. People definitely going to recognize you because of this person. I'm not saying that you don't have your own identity. You have it. And that's why this person sees that in you. Like you're very, you have a potential to do a lot of things. You're very successful. You could, do, you, you could do wonders. There's something about your energy. Your aura is very strong. You could be very independent, confident, bold, but at the same time, very loving, very nurturing, very caring. Okay. Now, I, I think this person is definitely have a lot of attention. They have a lot of people. A lot of people want to be with this person. This could be even someone who dated a lot of people, okay? Um, but right now, the moment that they have eyes on you or when you will meet them, I think you're about to meet this person with the Wheel of Fortune. It's like this is going to be something going to happen unexpected and sudden, but it's going to be, you can call fate and destiny. But this person also think that they met you by fate and destiny. It's not easy because they really have eyes on you. And they really wanted someone like you. So I think they'd really find you like very like a uh, family material type of a person. Like let's say if you're a woman watching this video, they still find you like wifey material. And if this is a man, they find you like you find them or you, they find you as like you're very like uh, definitely a marriage material, uh, a wifey material, a dating material, someone that they can keep it, someone that they can show off publicly like this is my person. So that type of energy I'm picking up. Now, with the page of pentacles here, this is definitely someone who's going to send you a message or want to talk, want to communicate. They even want to meet you. And whoever this person is, I don't know, um, you know them or not. Some of you, you know them, but something between this person never happened because they were too busy or they were too distracted with other options. Or maybe you never dated this person. Or you don't see coming this person, by the way, some of you. But you're on the right path to meet them. Or they are coming your way. Because they're, they're on the path to find you. This is someone definitely find you very traditional. I don't know what type of person uh, from where culture and tradition you are. They find you very traditional. The way you dress, it's really, really different for this person. They find you very vibrant, very attractive, very good looking, very beautiful, very handsome, very charming. It doesn't matter if you're a man or woman. They definitely have eyes on you and they want to get to know you. They could be even dreaming about you. Like they really find you very intrigued. Like they definitely want to put the effort. They really see the potential, your worth. Okay. They're not like just here to play. They want to get to know you. You're going to meet this person in a private meeting. I think this is going to be a private date or private meeting. Only you and this person will be there. This could be even someone because they're busy. They're going to invite you in their office or workplace. Because they can't meet you publicly. They could even invite you in their like a, a very private family meeting or invitation here. Now, some of you, I think first they want to meet you because I can see that it's happening and progressing very soon. It's going to happen and progress very soon between you and this person. Then they're going to introduce you to their family. Now, some of you, if you're already dating this person and getting to know them, your relationship is moving to a next level. You're about to meet this person's family. And this person is, and if you never started anything, they're about to ask you out. They want to get to know you. They want to talk to you. They're definitely going to make this initiative. Look at this three of pentacles and page of swords. This person want to talk. 
They want to communicate. They really want to do it, but they're feeling a lot of burden and pressure. Or this person has a lot of responsibilities right now. They're watching you though. They want to talk. They're curious about you. You got the attention of this person, by the way, whoever this is. Now, I also feel this could be someone that you're going to work with or there's a, some type of a business collaboration or project happening. Some of you, it could be, this is going to be someone that you are going to learn a lot of things from. This could be like someone like your teacher, your um, someone who's your senior, okay? This could be even someone that you're going to meet in some type of a public places or some type of a formal meeting or event. This person is going to be there and you're gonna talk. You will have this, like, uh, let's say you will be lucky that this person wanna talk to you, wanna, they're gonna notice you, or they're gonna recognize your work, or they're gonna talk about your work, something like that. Because there's something about being with this person or seeing with this person is definitely, uh, I think it's going to be like uh, what they call privilege. But it's not like they're just, you're using them or you want to get the privilege. I think people want to be with this person for a wrong reason. They want to always use this person and this person got used in the past. Eight of Cups. But now, they see that you're not doing this. You are in your limit. You're not crossing your limit. And that's why this person going to like it. Because they know that you're not, you're just not after their status or money. Or maybe this is you, Capricorn. I saw 11, 11. It's like a wish. Make a wish. So yeah, this is like a wish come true. A dream come true, I'm, I'm feeling. Now, some of you, this is about you. You are successful, okay? And you're going to see this person is like, they're not, they have a potential, they're hardworking, they're going to make it happen, they have a lot of dreams. And you're going to see this person is like, they're not after your money or success, or they want, don't want to use you. Because obviously, you could be this money magnet, you could be very lucky. Yeah, lovers, oh my God, that's so hot. We have a heart energy, 6-9, you could be seeing it as angel number, you could be even seeing 10-10 number a lot, 11-11, this could be a divine counterpart, soulmate, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Earth sign, could be water placements, Gemini could be, okay, we have a, could be even Virgo, lovers and change, yeah, your love life is about to change, this person is bringing big changes in your life, you're gonna meet this person, you're gonna meet this person, they're gonna invite you in their family or some type of a private place, private house, Somewhere like only this person definitely want to take you home. Are you going to take this person home? Because they're really, you could be even moving in together with this person. We have an unexpected income coming. Great fortune. This person definitely bringing a lot of money and wealth in your life. A lot of money and wealth. Yeah, courtship. Oh my God. You're about to, oh, this person is about to ask you. They want to be your main male. I told you, you have the privilege. There's something about you. There's something about your energy. You're not chasing money. If you are that type of a person, man or woman. You're working hard, you're in your limit, you want to achieve your dreams, but in a good way, in a right way. And that person, this is that this is why this person is gonna like you. And you really got attention of this person, or they want to make it happen. They're gonna ask you out. This is someone who's in love with you, or you will fall in love. I think it's mutual. But this is about to happen. Some of you, you're already dating them, so it's, it's moving to a next level. And some of you, they're about to ask you, the courtship, they're, they're about to ask you. You have this privilege. They think you are the one. And they want to be your main male. They're going to be a provider. I don't think so. You will ask for anything. They're going to do it for you. Like, <laughs> But they could be cautious. They want to get to know you. That's why they're really trying to, trying to figure you out. Okay? But I think they will open up. It's just a matter of the time. They're coming. They're coming, just wait. Be patient. I think you're definitely attracting the love of your life, the main male, someone who's going, you're going to get married to, you're going to settle down, move in together, or this is someone that you already met. So there's something between you and this person is about to start. So get ready. You could be even seeing mirror number. Look at this. You both are mirroring each other. You both are in love. You both feel this attraction and pull towards each other. But with the strength here, it's like you both are controlling it, or especially you, but they're going to make it happen. That's your reading. I'm going to see you later. Bye.